Parasites have adapted in such a way that they are very self-sufficient. This means they are very hard to get rid of no matter how much we don't want them around. So if we can't beat them, then we might as well learn about them. So here's my top 10 parasites that'll make your skin crawl. Oh, and if you're squeamish, this may not be the top 10 for you. Number 10. The Emerald Jewel Wasp. This wasp is a very colourful wasp. As the name describes, its body has a metallic green-blue colour with red legs. The females are the ones who carry a stinger. But don't worry, she's not interested in human beings. Instead, this female is interested in cockroaches. That's right, the female will sting the body of a cockroach and lay a larva into it. There, the roach is used as an incubator until the babies hatch, effectively killing the roach. Number 9. Lice. Lice is one of the least dangerous parasites among us. They live in human hair and feed on just small, tiny amounts of blood that come from the scalp. On a bright note, they don't spread any disease or cause any sort of infection. They're simply annoying and hard to get rid of. They're really small and cause the scalp to itch. So, while you're scratching your scalp like a dog, it enjoys the broken skin and blood offerings you give it. Lice is commonly spread through children at school. Number 8. Oncocerca volvulus. This nematode, or better known as a species of roundworm, is transferred through a black fly bite. These little roundworms need a human body to grow and mature, but once they do, they cause a disease called river blindness. It causes the cornea to thicken and eventually causes permanent blindness. These parasites are the second largest cause for blindness in the whole world. Number 7. Tapeworm. Tapeworms come from eating raw or undercooked meat that contains tapeworm cysts. While the tapeworm usually shows no immediate symptoms, they can cause abdominal discomfort, loss of appetite and diarrhea. They cause a person's stool to become goopy, and you'll often pass parts of the worm out. But that's if they made it to the intestine, which is the usual case. But if the tapeworm cyst makes it to the brain, it can cause seizures, confusion, and even migraines. Number 6. Botfly. A botfly parasite is a true type of parasite. They can find a host and then live off the host until they are ready to leave. A botfly larva is placed inside, just at the surface of the flesh of the chosen victim. The heat from the flesh causes the larva to hatch and a baby botfly lives inside its host's flesh, burrowing further inwards. The only way to make sure the whole parasite is removed is when they are suffocated. How? By placing tape over the infected area. The little larva then comes back to the surface and attempts to breathe. But don't worry, there's only one type of botfly that actually uses humans as hosts. Number 5. Guinea worms. This parasite looks similar to a single piece of spaghetti, but it is far from being as pleasant as eating pasta. A guinea worm is hatched when a human being ingests a water flea. Now, I'm not saying people do this on purpose, but water fleas are small and barely noticeable. After ingestion of the larva, the guinea worm hatches and they remain inside the stomach for up to three months. Now, this doesn't seem too bad, but an impregnated adult female worm will move out of the stomach and make its way to the undersurface of the skin. Here, she will eat the flesh of her host and wait. During this process, the host is given intolerable pain and even becomes crippled so it cannot move. The worm causes a blister that, once hit with water, will pop with hundreds of little babies that will disperse through the wound. Then, and only then, does the female come wiggling out of the body. Some females can be up to 5 feet in length. Number 4. Cordyceps fungi. This parasite is actually a fungus. That's right, it's almost a type of mushroom. But be careful with this fungi. It is still a parasite. Attacking a host's body and replacing its flesh with its own. 
it causes very complex and interesting things to grow out from the body of its host. Some cases have shown that it is able to affect the body of the host so much that it can control its behavior and mind. So, it can cause an ant to climb up somewhere nice and die, attached to the plant so it can remain in a nice place until something else passes by. Thank goodness this only affects small insects. Number 3. Tick. Ticks are literally bloodsuckers. They attach themselves to a host, animal or human and burrow their heads into their flesh. They can start off the size of a small pebble and then, as they feast on the host, grow to be the size of a nickel or bigger. But when removing the tick, you have to be extremely careful because if you break their body in two, the head can remain alive and will simply burrow itself further into the host. Ticks carry many, many diseases, the common being Lyme disease and some other diseases that can cause paralysis. Number 2. Simothoa exigua More commonly known as the tongue-eating louse, this parasite does exactly as its name says. Thankfully, this parasite prefers fish to humans. It enters the fish through the gills and the females will attach themselves to the fish's tongue. It then proceeds to destroy it and become the new fish's tongue. This way, it can eat when the fish eats. Number 1. Naglaria filari This little amoeba isn't really friendly. It is usually found in the American Southwest's waters. When the organism makes its way to a human body, it likes to live in the brain and the brain area. It then causes a type of disease that causes brain inflammation. This is just the beginning of the end. It can take up to two weeks after the infection to show any signs of symptoms, which include fever, nausea, intense headaches, vomiting and stiffness of the neck. Sounds like a regular flu, right? Well, with more time passing by, the person begins to get more confused, has a severe lack of attention of people and their surroundings, seizures and even hallucinations. After these last few, the disease nose dives. The brain tissue becomes so damaged that it usually results in death after a week. So just remember, if you're in the American Southwest, don't drink the water, purify it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this week's list, and if you did, leave a like. And some of these words were a bit outside my vocabulary, so sorry if I pronounced some of them wrong. If you want to see another top 10 about interesting facts, click here for my top 10 coffee facts you may not know. And if you have a particular subject that you think would make a nice top 10, let me know in the comments section.